Welcome back to Simply Logical. This is Vintage. In this video, I am going to present you an interesting geometry puzzle. Let's check the diagram now. In this diagram, all three of these rectangles have the same area. Can you find the area of these rectangles using the data provided? Let me repeat. In this diagram, there are three rectangles and area of all these rectangles is same. Your task is to find the area of the rectangles. Observe the diagram carefully, use the data properly and find the area of the rectangle. Pause the video and give a try before checking the solution and do not forget to comment the answer in the comment section. This is one of the most trickiest geometry puzzle. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so that you will not miss any of our videos. So let's check the solution now. I will explain the most logical and easiest way of solving this puzzle. For convenience, let's call these rectangles as R1, R2 and R3 and the area of the rectangle is A. Let's consider rectangle R1. We have one data present in this particular rectangle that is height of the rectangle. In R1, height of the rectangle is 7 units and we know that the area of the rectangle is calculated using the formula base into height. We know that the height of the rectangle is 7 units and hence replacing 7 units in the formula, we get base is equal to A divided by 7. Hence, in the rectangle R1, the height of the rectangle is 7 units and the base of the rectangle is A by 7. Now let's consider a rectangle R2. In R2, height of the rectangle is given that is 10 units and the area of the rectangle becomes A is equal to B into 10. After solving this, we get B is equal to A divided by 10. In this rectangle, the height of the rectangle is 10 and the base of the rectangle is A by 10. Now consider rectangle R3. In R3, base of the rectangle is 10 units and area of the rectangle becomes A is equal to H into 10 because height is not given in this particular rectangle whereas the base is given which is equal to 10 units. Hence, height of the rectangle is A divided by 10. Now we have enough data on all three rectangles. Now consider the highlighted triangle and this is basically a right angle triangle. So we know that in right angle triangle, according to the Pythagoras theorem, the square on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal in area to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Here in this triangle, hypotenuse is A by 7. The base of the triangle include side of the rectangle R2 and R3. Hence, we wanted to add these two portions. Hence, base becomes A divided by 10 plus 10. And the height of the triangle includes height of the rectangle R3, but it includes extra length which is to be subtracted. So, number of units to be subtracted is equal to height of the rectangle R2. Hence, the height of the triangle becomes A divided by 10 minus 10. Now, apply Pythagoras theorem. After applying Pythagoras theorem, equation becomes A divided by 7 whole square which is an hypotenuse is equal to A by 10 minus 10 whole square which is one side of the triangle plus A divided by 10 plus 10 whole square which is the other side of the triangle. So after solving this equation, we get A is equal to 700. We know that initially only we have assumed that the area of the rectangle is A and also it is given in the question that all three rectangles are equal. Hence, the area of all rectangles in this diagram is 700 units. So you can solve this problem in multiple ways. 
please do share your approach. So whatever the approach that I have followed is one of the easiest way to solve this problem. That's all for this video. If the video found useful for you, like the video, share with your friends who have the similar interest. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting topic. Thank you.